Hello, I thought we would take a moment to look at this very rare book on linear algebra. This is a linear algebra problems book. This one is published by Mir Publishers Moscow. This book is very rare. I don't know if there are copies available, but I thought, you know what, let me just show you. It's one of the books from my collection and it's one of my more valuable books. I have a lot of math books, a lot of them are really inexpensive. This is one of my more expensive books. Uh, I'm a low dollar collector, but to me it's high dollar. This book is probably at least $40, at least, at least 40 bucks probably. I, I don't know, if I, if I can find it, uh, I'll leave a link in the description uh, of this video. So it's by H.D. Ikramov, and I mentioned it was published by Mir Publishers Moscow. So this was, I don't know if it still is, a publishing company in Russia, right, in actual Russia. Uh, that would take books, uh, math and science books, written in Russian, and translate them to languages so that they can be used in various countries all over the world. So they're translated to Spanish, uh, I believe Czech, uh, and, and many other languages that are used all over the world. So people all over the world have access to these books. In the U.S., um, they're very hard to get and they're very expensive. Um, so I have some. Let's read the back here. The companion book from Mir, Linear Algebra v. Voyevodin. So this is a different book. This is a unified course in linear algebra and analytic geometry. It is intended for university and technical college students specializing in applied mathematics. Unlike other textbooks, it has a bias towards applications and a greater emphasis on computational techniques. Much attention is given to the computational aspects of linear algebra. And here gives you the contents for that book. So this is a problem book. So it's just a book of linear algebra problems. Here it talks about the author. Let's go ahead and read this together too before we look at the actual book. It's like a, a collectible, you know, it's kind of cool. Assistant Professor H.D. Ikramov, Canned SC Mathematics, is a lecturer in linear algebra at the Department of Computational Mathematics and Cybernetics of the Moscow University. His concern is with computational methods of linear algebra and in particular with the rounding off errors in non-orthogonal algebraic methods, methods of the solutions of algebraic problems concerning eigenvalues and applications of algebraic methods to the problems of electrodynamics. He's published more than 20 scientific papers. So these books are really cool, these translated books, because they're written by people who are prominent researchers and prominent authors. And then this company, uh, Mir Publishers, chose them to be translated. Here it says some stuff in Russian, I do not speak Russian. Translated from the Russian by Oleg Ifimov. And here it talks about when it was published. Let's look here. It just says, first published in 1983, revised from the 1975 Russian edition. And I have to smell it. I'm sorry, I just got to give it a whiff here. It just, oh, it smells really good. It smells really good. The pages are really thin. I'm going to be very careful with this book. So we're going to be gentle here with this one because... I'm not going to be able to get another copy, I think. <laughs> so linear spaces, that's a good place to start. Euclidean and unitary spaces, determinants, systems of linear equations, linear operators and matrices. Let's turn the page here very gently. Here we have some more topics. Linear operator structure, unitary space operators, metric problems in linear space, hence answers and solutions. And there's a preface here. Let's just jump to the problems here. So linear spaces. A set V is called a linear space over a number field P if, and then here it gives you uh, the axioms, right, for a linear space, things that must be satisfied, right? These are also called vector spaces. Typically that's what they're called. Uh, here it even tells you that uh, the elements of a linear space are said to be vectors and linear space itself is also called a vector space. So most modern books would call it a vector space. And it's good that uh, they clarify that here. And there's some more knowledge here. So it basically reviews all of the linear algebra you need, or a lot of it. Right here it talks about linear independence, talks about the dimension. Yeah, a lot of important results. Then it gives some examples. So the n-dimensional arithmetic space, the space of polynomials, this is one that's often, these are classic spaces that are often described in books. And then it gives you some more knowledge here. Keeps going here. 
definition of a linear space. So here's some, some exercises, perhaps. Yeah, some exercises. All vectors whose endpoints lie in the same straight line. Yeah, so we have a, a couple exercises here. Some more here. So lots of exercises here where you're meant to solve various linear algebra problems based on, based on the information uh, that you're given here. Right? So you're given this information, you read this, it's very to the point, very concise, certainly uh, a lot more to the point than a regular book, and then you have the exercise. So it is nice that the authors do that instead of just jumping into it and um, not giving you anything. So here we have Euclidean and unitary spaces, so you get some knowledge here, some background reading. And then you have exercises. So that's kind of nice, uh, nice layout. Uh, here's determinants. So they give you some knowledge here on determinants, some information that you probably don't know, or maybe you've seen some of it, but... And then they give you some exercises. Let's take a look at the answers in the back of the book. So it's an interesting format for the book. It's got an index, which is cool. I have another linear algebra problem book, but I think this one's a lot better. Like the way this one's written, I like that it has that little introduction. So it's kind of like if you know some linear algebra in theory, you can pick this up and start learning. Now, you notice right away, it doesn't have answers to all of the problems. And I've noticed that because I have other problem books by Mir Publishers, and they also don't have answers to all the problems. Here you have some hints. So lots of hints. Not for everything, but you have some hints. And then you have uh, some answers back here. So it's certainly better than a regular textbook in terms of answers. You're, you're going to get more answers and more problems than you would uh, in a regular textbook. And there's something here in the back flap. This book has been written with the needs in mind of first-year applied mathematics students, differing basically from the problems books currently in use and changing the customary sequence of the subject matter with the notion of a linear space preceding the determinant and simultaneous equations theory, and including the topics of modern computational algebra like norms of matrices, condition numbers, approximate solutions of systems of linear equations, etc. Yeah, these are topics that a lot of times aren't taught to undergrads. This book is closely related to, and then it gives you the other book there. Let's take the dust jacket off just so we can see what it looks like without the dust jacket. I just kind of want to... So that's what it looks like without the dust jacket. In case you do actually find a copy. Oh, that looks really cool. It's like weird blue. It's like, wow. Wow. Wow, really interesting book. So just a book I have as a collector of many things. Um, I'm a low dollar collector though. This is one of my more high dollar uh, items here. Uh, <laughs> probably because I paid, I probably paid less than $50 for this book. I usually don't spend more than 50 bucks on a book, very rarely. Um, so you might be able to find uh, copies uh, inexpensively. But um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if I can find any copies of this super rare book. It's rare for a couple reasons. One, it's out of print. And two, it's, it's published by this um, company, which I don't, know, I don't even know if they exist, but it's a Russian company, and uh, you know, it's pretty rare, right? pretty rare stuff. Yeah, all, all the books by Mir Publishers are, are, are rare. They're all hard to get. Feels solid, though. Anyways, random video to show you a random book on linear algebra, a problem book on linear algebra where the emphasis is applied uh, mathematics, which is a little bit different. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, if you want to subscribe, uh, feel, feel, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to, if you feel like you found any value from this content. I post all kinds of random stuff and I have a ton of books. I should make more book reviews. And I do have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Um, I have algebra courses, trig courses, calculus one, two, three, differential equations, abstract algebra, analysis, etc. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is reputable, so it's like a legit place. But uh, please use the links through my website as it helps me greatly and it can help you because I lowered the price on all my courses to be as low as possible. So if you use the link, you should get a low price. And what else? Oh yeah, I do have a fitness channel. Um, I train every day. I train my mind and I train my body. So Math Sorcerer is about mind training. I have a fitness channel and of course it's called The Fitness Sorcerer. So feel free to subscribe to The Fitness Sorcerer if you want to follow my uh, health journey there. But yeah, kind of an interesting book, Mere Publishers. Uh, if you have any books by Mere Publishers, leave a comment. I'm curious. They're very hard to get. Um, very, very expensive. <laughs> so yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.